You know, Steve, uh, it's more important that you ask your instructor what he means. I think it's good for you guys to, to, if you have a doubt as to what he's saying to you, just tell himself and let him explain it because you need to open up the communication lines. But what he's saying is basically the line across your shoulders and your hips and your knees and your toes are all parallel to your target line. And then if he's referring to the golf swing, then at the halfway back point, the shaft is in the correct position. At the top of the back swing, the shaft is in the correct position. It's not pointing across the line or laid off. And then again, halfway into the follow through. So when your lines look good in your golf swing, that means the shape of your overall golf swing is wonderful. It's a compliment, but make sure you understand what he's telling you if you want to get better. So many places to, to play golf for the tour and, and you got to pick one or two that are the best viewing ones. Uh, I suppose the TPC at Sawgrass, which is the golf course originally designed for spectator viewing, would be the best. I mean, coming down the stretch, there's plenty of room to be able to watch the players actually hit their golf shots. What you don't want to have is a golf course where you're down low and the players are up high in the fairway and they, they kind of reversed it at the TPC at Sawgrass. But for my own pleasures, um, you know, I'll go with my hometown, the TPC at Scottsdale. Uh, on a Saturday afternoon there, if the weather's good, I hope my wife's not watching this, this video. There's 200,000 people out there and at least 40 or 50,000 of them are really cute. So I, I'd go with Phoenix. Well, there's two different questions in there, Tony. and. Uh, you know, the USGA and the PGA of America, who, who runs the PGA Championship, they, they have their selection of golf courses, they have their committees that go out, uh, and they try to bring golf to the masses. That's why we're going to so many more public golf courses like Beth Page Black and Torrey Pines uh, for the US Open. As far as this year, with the US Open being at Torrey Pines, this is gonna be fun for moi because we're going to see the difference in how the USGA decides to set up a tournament for its championship and how the PGA Tour sets up a tournament for their championships. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. I don't know that Torrey Pines needs much uh, doctoring, shall we say, to, to be a great golf course, but they're going to turn the uh, sixth hole from a par five into a par four. Why? Because they want to protect scores. They want to protect par for some unknown reason. We're going to see how narrow they get the fairways on some holes. And basically, we're going to see how the USGA decides to try and evaluate the best players in the world. Some people say embarrass the best players in the world. Tune in in June. We'll find out.